Again, this is the last video, I promise, of a review like this where I didn't get the band shirt at the concert. So, getting that out of the way, Lamb of God featuring Huntress, uh, Testament, and Kill Switch Engage. Okay, uh, first of all, I should say I was late to the concert, so... Uh, I only saw like the last two songs from Huntress, so I can't really say much about that since it was only two songs. I mean, the front woman, she's hot, I guess. I, I, I don't really have a thing for blondes, but yeah, she was pretty attractive. <laughs> Again, not much to say. Like... I'm not a big fan of, like, screamo or super high-pitched vocals, with the exception of, like, Getty Lee stuff. But, uh, yeah, not really much to say about Huntress. But when Testament came out, uh, well, I mean, they have energy, they have zest. Again, I'm totally unfamiliar with them, so I don't really know any songs. Uh... But I wasn't wearing any earplugs at the show, and that, uh, their set was really loud, so it, like, I felt the ring in my ears afterwards. And then when Kill Switch Engage came out, I mean, I'm, I, again, I'm not a fan of them. In fact, I feel like a lot of their songs just kind of sound the same. So, again, not much to say there. Uh,. But, oh, and if you're wondering who was performing, the white guy or the black guy, it was the white guy. Again, th that, I, just, like, that's the way most people differentiate between them, the white guy or the black guy. So, I mean, like, just, you can complain about it down there. So, just, that's all I can say about that. Uh... I only really went to this concert because a friend of mine had extra tickets, so I decided to go along with him. So I what I checked out a few of Lamb of God songs and I mean like they're typical like medium beat groove metal stuff, like and I'm like, oh, okay, I can withstand a concert of this. Uh because well my hearing was uh, weakened by Testament, but Lamb of God totally annihilated my hearing because the venue was uh, the Electric Factory, if you know where that is in Philly. It's in like an industrial park area, so they're not by any residences, so they're allowed to crank it up as loud as they want, and believe me, it was loud. Before I get into the actual concert, I'll just say, like, I was, like, toward the front right, so my, there was a gigantic cabinet, like, right next to me, so my left ear was okay, but my right ear was just totally annihilated, and I could not hear anything out of my right ear for the next two days, and I could barely hear stuff out of my left ear for the next two days and on the end of the second day I got kind of scared because I thought I was going deaf but thankfully on the third day my hearing came back oh I just realized how biblical that sounds and on the third day praise Jesus the deaf can hear again praise the Lord but uh, yeah, that concert is the reason I wear earplugs to all of the concerts I go to now, because I don't want that to ever happen again. But then again, the concerts I've gone to after Lamb of God have not been as loud as Lamb of God, so I can't really say for certain if I need them. But hey, better safe than sorry, right? But anyways, the set list. They... The first, like, two minutes of the show were just 
footages, just footage of, like, earthquakes and buildings toppling, and there was this deep, almost, like, dark, ambient, deep, bassy grumble just shaking the whole place, like, and, like, you could feel it just, like, coming up your whole body, and it just felt really cool. Uh, then Lamb of God actually came out, and I, the only song from the set list I remember was they opened with Desolation. And I mean, like, it's one of the few songs for them I actually like. I mean, I'm not a big death metal person, but they, like, it has some really nice grooves in it. And, like, I can see why people would mosh, like, to that song at least, like I did. Uh, Walk With Me in Hell, one of their more melodic songs, and I mean, I liked it. I'm unfamiliar with a lot of their set lists. Again, I'm not really familiar with the whole Lamb of God scene, but for what the concert was, I mean, they have energy, they can put on a good show, they, uh... And I like how involved they get with the audience, too. And I even like their uh, little disclaimer for courteous moshing, where Randy said uh, something like, if someone falls down, help them up, and stuff like that. Because uh, when I do my Primus concert review, I'm gonna rave all about how crazy the moshing was there. But the moshing here, it was kind... It was... Like, wild, but restrained enough so that nobody got hurt. And, oh man, there was just so many wild people there. Like, this, uh, this one, like, 15-year-old kid stripped down to his underwear and socks and went to the mosh pit like that. And there was this one drunk guy who unzipped his fly and, like, peed everywhere. Uh, which isn't cool, but it's noteworthy. Oh, and also, I don't know if this is a thing at Lamb of God shows, but my uh, friend, this was his second Lamb of God concert. The first time he saw Lamb of God, there was a guy in a chicken costume in the mosh pit, and Randy Blythe called him out, and he's like, don't hurt the chicken. And uh, the, at this show, there was a guy in a banana costume, and a guy dressed up as Santa Claus. So toward the end of the show, uh, before the last song or the second to last song, Randy was like, everyone give it up for Santa Claus and the banana guy. And everybody just like cheered for him. And I mean, uh, looking back, uh, oh, I have a really nice Joker costume that I had for Halloween like three years ago. And oh, I should have worn that. That would have been so cool. Uh, but I probably would have got like makeup everywhere and it just would have been really messy but i mean aside from the fact that i almost went deaf at that show i mean it was pretty fun and like i'm glad again i'm glad i went i'd have to say there's only one concert experience i ever regretted going to well i don't want to say regretted just it was underwhelming like my life would not have been lit up if I didn't go to this show kind of thing. So, I mean, if Lamb of God's ever around in the area again, I'll probably see them again if my friends are going to. I mean, like, it was, it was fun enough for someone like me, an outsider to the world of Lamb of God, to enjoy the show. And for me, if I were in a band doing a concert, I making the concert good enough so that someone unfamiliar with our music would have a fun night is would be the minimum goal. And they at least achieved that. So in, with that respect, I'm happy with it.